So guys, we are on our way to our local Target. Luckily, we did stop by another Target earlier in the week who did have a pretty good selection of product. But you guys know how bad our, our regular Target's been. They pretty much have had nothing since Christmas time, pretty much. Last week, they did have a few Crown Zenith tins. Will anything still be there this week? I highly doubt it, but we'll have to see. So without further ado, hit that theme song. <laughs> Y'all know what time it is. Target, Walmart, the dollar store. You know we hit them all up, then we go explore. We check the aisles and we check the rows. You might find the pack right under your nose. The comments, the comments, and the rares. Taking over the game like we are team player. We pull so hot, better call the squad. Now sit back, relax, and prepare to applaud. It's the weekend Pokemon Club. See the Tyranitar and Empoleon tins. Yes. Wow, we gotta get some of them because there has been evolving skies. I think that's a good choice. And then, it's actually Empoleon. There was anything really different. There's some singles up here. Mm hmm. That's actually silver. Yeah. I like it. That's like the only one. Yeah, that's there. fine. And then and one, one more thing. thing. You know, I'm gonna have to see if they have any of my. Wait, look, there's Pokemon down there. Oh, there are. Charmander. Mm hmm. He's stomping on him. That's right. Stomp. I see some other stuff, too. Fusion Strike. There's another 10. Another 10. You think we're good with what we have? I think we're good with what we have. Oh, they got a Squirtle. They do have a Squirtle. We don't have Squirtle. We don't have the Squirtle. I think we need to get the Squirtle. Who else is in? It's just Squirtle. Oh, he, okay. He's featured. I know, but they usually show like that. Yeah, I know. But not on his. It's no, just it's just, just him. Squirtle. Uh, yeah, great posing tickets. Let me get my gammas. <laughs> I'm getting three again. Okay. Oh my. He just wandered off on quite a little stash over here. Yeah. What? Scarlet wow. and Violet ETBs? Huh. Man. Now I'm actually contemplating. They didn't have any of these up front. Mm -mm, they didn't. I'm wondering if maybe we should do that instead of the Multico box. Maybe. I agree. I believe I want to do this. Which one is calling me? That one. This one? Yes. Okay. Oh, and give me a Spider-Man watch. It's on clearance. Nice. Four dollars. Cool. Try me. Probably. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh. Look at that. It's S O one. That's a good time. It's a real good time. Is it? Oh, okay. Well, is it? I was actually gonna check my watch. I don't have on. See, I need it. I'm doing it. How <laughs> it looks like you are. This is how you do it, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. That looks right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you gotta get a little hip movement in there. Well, you know I can't. Oh, yeah, you did it. That was good. Spray that again. Always. I see some Fusion Strike ETBs. Oh, wow. And some Pokemon Go Pokeballs. So not a ton of stuff. No, but it's at least something. Yeah, it's definitely. And some Dragon Ball cards. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, since it has been a while, what do you think? Maybe one of each? Yeah, that sounds good. We'll get the collection. Mm-hmm. 
It looks like they actually had some tins at one point here too. Quite a few that, that are missing. So we gotta, I mean, we gotta test the pull rates, right? Yeah, probably so. Because since everybody stole all the good cards. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going this one. Yeah, it's down by itself. Yeah, Knuckles was guarding it for us. That's right. He guards the Master Emerald and the Fusion Strike ETVs. I gotta get somebody. Right? Yeah. Okay. Reptar? Reptar. Mm hmm. There's another Squirtle. Yep. Squirtle, squirt. That wasn't me, that was him. So guys, as part of the weekend hunt, we do have to now run into PetSmart because we have to get different little litter pellets for Stormy that she uses the bathroom in when she's in the house. So that's where we're heading into now. Hey, pumpkin. Hey. Hey, pretty girl. How are you? You're so sweet. All right, guys, we are back at home and check out everything that we picked up at both Targets. We got a pretty good selection of stuff. We're not gonna be opening everything, but we do wanna open two of these tins, both of the ETBs, and then our single pack of Silver Tempest over here. So let's see what all we are gonna have inside this stuff. All right, guys, so I'm going to get into this little single blister that we found actually at the other Target. The other <laughs> the Target. The other Target. It's a Target that we occasionally visit when we're going out of town to get stuff. But I will say they usually have better stock than... Way better than ours. Than ours does locally. Very cool little coin there. And we have a hollow Hisuian Lilliant for our first Sleeve Club member. And you guys may have seen us. I can't remember if we've opened these, but and that's just a, a regular. Just a regular old pet wheel. <laughs> yep. There's the code. And we have our one pack of Silver Tempest. We got this because this was the only Silver Tempest item, like, in the store. I think they had the other, the other single blisters, I think, were all scarlet and violet. I think so, so, you know, when you see something kind of random like that, you got to pick it up just to see. There's always a chance. Maybe there's a Lugia inside of here. Or like if it's the only thing in a particular set. We'll probably get a non hollow rare. I have a reverse clang, hollow rapidash. <laughs> hollow rapidash. No, I wasn't too far off. <laughs> Not too far, but I mean, it's, you know, it is a hollow. Okay, now I'm going to get into the good old Empoleon tin. So guys, just to give you a little brief overview. Oh, no. The pack, okay. Well, the packs I already little, see. Yeah, and they're a little bit disheveled here. All right. Looks like we actually have all brilliant. So no more evolving. So I saw somebody post that the other day because these tins for a while still had evolving skies in them. There were a few, I think, that occasionally had chilling rain. Mm-hmm. But really, both of those sets would have been a little older. But now they packed them full of brilliant five stars. packs of brilliant stars. So clearly, they're still trying to dump some battle style stock. Some tens, yeah. Yeah. They made way too many Tyranitar and Empoleon tins. They thought those things were going to be hot. And apparently, they weren't. <laughs> I don't remember, what was it when they first came out? Was it Battle Styles and... Maybe like Rebel Clash, I felt like. Man, that would have been a rough 10. <laughs> that would have been a rough... Given our pull rates on those sets, yes. uh, Just ours or everybody's? Well, everybody's. Reverse Star U and an Escavalier. Yeah, those were sets that came out before the introduction of any sort of trainer gallery or alternate arts. Or anything that kind of not even amazing rares. They had like almost no options for extra pulls, I guess. <laughs> yeah, really with those, it was just your rainbow rares and your full arts was about mm -hmm. it. And the pull rates for those really weren't that great. Reverse Shroomish and a Haxorus. Right now it's not looking too good for brilliant. <laughs> Which is crazy to think because this is a set that 
This is one I think that the pull rates seem to have definitely slowed down on as the set's been out longer. I remember when this first came out, people said the pull rates for Brilliant Stars was, was insane. Yeah, because all the trainer gallery. I mean, they said it was kind of a like spoiling you compared to other sets. And now... Moltres Reverse and a Wormadam. Now we're not getting spoiled. <laughs> Yeah, that's that is that's not not good. Not good at all. All right, so we got this pack and one more from this tin. And I'm assuming we've got another tin to go through. I guess that one may be very similar with the brilliant stars. Uh, it's not often I feel like too you get five packs of the same thing. Yeah, in a tin that's kind of more unusual. I feel like we got a reverse Sharon Stare and oh, Cynthia's ambition. What? That's a good card. That is a very good card. <laughs> I will definitely take that. Man, that is a nice full art trainer. All right. Last pack of Brilliant. Well, that turned that tin around a little bit. <laughs> That's actually one, again, I personally prefer the colored version of the card. Versus the rainbow? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think initially everybody thought the rainbow rares were going to be your rare, which I guess they are the rarer version of the card. I just don't know if they quite look as good. Yeah, most of them they don't. I feel like most of them, the artwork, it just doesn't do it justice. We got a reverse by Barrel and a Heatran. I feel like that more with the full art trainers than I do the Pokemon. Now we're moving on to everybody's favorite, <laughs> Fusion Strike. Well, you don't have to be, but so... No, I'm just saying everybody's favorite lately because of all the, you know, questions of what happened and everything at the factory and all that stuff. Let me go ahead and grab you all the code, too. What did happen at the factory? We really don't know, but apparently it's been reported that it does not affect full rates. Things happened. Things happened. I'm not you know, Allie doesn't know. I'm not in the know like that. <laughs> no, lots of lots of big pulls were stolen or big cards. And folks were kinda going crazy because everybody thought it affected the pull rates. We got a hollow stormy. And Pokemon Company has come out and said that it did not. So we're gonna just trust that they are telling us the truth with that. <laughs> well, some reputable other people, other people, said the Rattle same thing, included. Which some he, of the, I think, got more info directly from the Pokemon Company as well, or yeah, some I think, I think associates. He, I think he opened up an investigation. <laughs> yes. So we have one Hollow, which is a decent way to start out for Fusion. We got a Reverse Croconaw and a Galarian Cursula. Usually our luck with these is we'll get one card, it seems like, that's pretty good from a Fusion Strike mm -hmm. ETB, which is better than some other sets, I'll say, but it seems to be that we'll get like one full art or one something like that, but I don't even want to say it. Gengar, VMAX, that's the card we we're still... We really, really need that. We got a Reverse Quillfish and a Crabominable V. I hope that's not our one pull from this. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, that's probably one of the lesser <laughs> lesser things that you can get from this set. Which, hey, look, I'll take another Mew oh, I know, me as too. well. There's a, some really awesome Mew. There's an alternate art Mew VMAX, an alternate art Mew V. There's a really cool Genesect as well. That's break dancing with his friends. That one is a really neat one for sure. We've been lucky enough to get those, but... Reverse Bullaby and an Absol. Only one, usually, of each. Mm -hmm. And it's been a while since we pulled some of those. It feels like forever ago. Yeah, I think it's been a very long time. Which we haven't opened. I guess we've opened another Fusion ETB, I think, last week. But we have, other than that, we have really not opened very much Fusion in quite some time. Yeah, that was the one you got the Celebi from. Mm -hmm. The B. Got a Bunnelby, Reverse Snom, and an Araquidid. Which would be funny if we pulled that one again. <laughs> it would be. I, I do love that card. I do though. too. I mean, I have to say, if we, there's one we had to pull a bunch of. That, really... to me, is one of the most underrated alternate arts yeah. that has come out. Like, I never heard a lot of talk about that one. It never seemed to be that hyped up, but... I just really like Celebi anyway. Yeah, but the artwork on it was just it's so... Really, it really, really cool. stood out. 
We got a reverse center scorch and a clay doll. Okay, I got two more packs, guys. Two more. <laughs> what are you calling? Call your shot. Hmm. I feel like I would love to think I could get like a V Max of some kind. I'm gonna call that. I'm not gonna say what Pokemon, but I would love for it to be Gengar. But um, not gonna get my hopes up too much for that. I still can't believe we haven't pulled just the regular V Max. Reverse Vulpix and a Maractus. I mean, there's that awesome alternate art, but we haven't been able to pull either one. Again, that's like the. Well, I'm not even gonna say it. Coming up at some point, guys, we're doing another Darkness Ablaze opening. It may not be very exciting. We are going to do another one, though. But I cannot believe we still have not pulled that card. It, Yeah, it should not have been this hard. A Reverse Sligu and my last card from Fusion is a Luxray. Well, I, my calling of the VMAX pull was off just a little bit. All right, guys, we have now arrived to the second half of the opening. So we're going to be getting into the Tyranitar tin and our Scarlet and Violet ETB. But before we get into that, we have to get into our great posing figures that we have been opening for the last few weeks. Believe it or not, we have five of these bad boys, which probably means five gammas are coming your way, but hopefully not because we still need to complete the collection. There is six of these. So we are still looking for the Prince of All Saiyans, Vegeta, and the man himself from Superhero, Go Easy. So, let's see. Here How we many got. gammas we get today? All right, starting it off, we oh, have nice. Goku. Okay. So Looks our like second Goku. Goku who yeah. I thought was gonna be one of the rarer ones to pull. Well, at least we got another go-to. Guys, we're going straight through. We're not wasting any time. This is gonna be the family for the opening today. Second figure is Vegeta. Oh, we got him. There he is. We may complete the set. We need one more. So Gohizi is the only last one we need. Gohan himself is the last one. Can we get him here? Can we get all the Saiyans back to back? No, no. <laughs> it's another Gamma. It's we the had one. We to get Gamma one. Again. I think I literally think. How that many Gamma ones have we got? Six, I think. Something like that. It's insane. <laughs> all right, we got two more. Can we today complete the set that we've been trying to open? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, again. Wait, is it Gamma one again? Yes. Oh my goodness, that's too funny. Guys, these are from two different stores, too. All right, <laughs> last pack. Let's see what's inside this final Dragon Ball superhero posing figure pack. We all know. Oh, no. Is it Gamma 2? It's Gamma 2, but oh, what is yes. going on? Yes. Are you rooting against me? No, what I'm what is this? Hilarious. So we've always pulled all these Gammas. There's literally six people you can get. And I've pulled... We only need one more. I think half of what I've gotten has it's been, been gamers. Yeah. All right, moving on now. Those are for the, you know, the Dragon Ball fans in the in the comment section. Uh, moving on to the Tyranitar 10. So it looks like this one is indeed going to be the same way. Give you guys a brief overview of the code real fast. So we have our Tyranitar, and then it appears that we're going to have five packs of Brilliant Stars again. Yep, it looks like it. Color. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Two Charizards in an Assault. So these are not, it doesn't look like any longer the uh, Evolving Skies mm -hmm. version of these tins, but maybe we'll have something pretty good. We're, hey, we still need cards from this we set. We do. I think we're about... 30 or so left. Hopefully we can get one of those or, you know, one of the awesome trainer galleries, Charizard, all tarts you can get. We'll do the pack trick since I'm not spoiling anything. Energy, Magma Basin, Croodunt, Claydol, Snorunt, Nose Pass, Dedenne, Cub Chew, Shinx, oh! Oh, 
it's been a while. It has it's been a while. It's been a while, but we're back to sweeping legs with salt in a reverse and a Go Lurk non hollow. That's the pull of the day. Yeah, so far, I think pull that is the pull of the day. Of the day. day. Mm -hmm. Outside, maybe you could argue Vegeta since I needed a Vegeta. The Prince of Saiyan. Yep. Since I needed one of those in the. In the Man, you great, know, great posing figures. Yeah, maybe we can get a maybe we can get a streak of socks going. Can we get two in a row? Can we get two in a row with the man himself, the myth, the legend that is Salk? Blunder policy reverse and a dusk noir hollow rare. So it is not to be yet. How but many the, times have we seen that one? <laughs> what dusk noir? Oh, hollow. I thought you were saying salt. I was no, going to say no, not no. enough. Mm -mm. You can never have too much salt. Not enough. You got to keep sweeping the legs. I'm hoping. We lots can, of sweeping. Lots of sweeping. The legs. I mean, what what are legs for other than to be sweeping. swept? Yeah. Sweeping. Mm -hmm. Energy. Kindler. Collapse Stadium. Hits him on top. Golet. Chimeco. Chimchar again. Minchino. Ball toy. Haluchacha. Reverse. And a Star Raptor, non hollow. So, all these brilliant stars, not really like a great, other than salt, not really a great pull. Yeah, and then there's one Cynthia's Ambition I got. Oh, that's true. That's true. That that's that actually probably is. I mean, if I'm being real, pull of the day. But, I mean, your reverse salt is pretty, pretty up there. Though. Yeah, I mean, that's PSA 10. What's that? About $3,000 or so? Probably so. I mean, minimum. Depending on if you're going into a real collector, I yeah. mean, probably I'd say only like 40000 or so. Oh, he's back! Here we go. What an opening. What an opening. Salt, not a reverse, so a little less rare, probably more in like the $20,000 range. Yeah. Grotal reverse and a Wormadam non hollow. Rare. Wormadam. Well, that isn't regular non hollow. All right, last pack of Brilliant. Can we get one more sulk? And, I mean, just end it off on a good note. Before we move into Scarlet and Violet, which for me, not great. Not great. Energy, Claydol, Executor. We, I don't know why I said it like that. Electabuzz, Halucha, Gibble, Bweasel, Trapinch, Clink, Reverse. And an Al Creamy non hollow rare. So nothing too great mm -mm. from those. But we're gonna get into the ETB. But before we do, I'm putting on the weekend hunt hat because I'm hoping this will bring a little bit of luck with our Scarlet and Violet ETB. Okay, let me give you a little insight, a little rundown on what we got going on here. We are now missing. Eight, eight, eight cards. Eight cards from Scarlet and Violet. None of the reverses. Mm -mm. We we're all we're we're all back here. The big ones, I believe, we are missing now. I know we're missing. We're missing. Palmot. Yep. And Fido. Palmot and Fido, both in their art rare. Mm -hmm. We're missing. Let's see. I think we Starly. Or did we have Starly? Um, I think we might have had that one. I can't okay. remember on that page. I know we're missing this one. Spide Ops EX Full Art. Yep. We're missing... We're missing Bayonet. I believe we're missing this Coridon as well. Yep, and I know Coridon actually mm -hmm. is the one we're missing we're the missing Golden Rare the too. We're missing the Arvin, and we're missing... Yep, we're missing that one. So, everything is like a rarer card. Usually, when we've opened this, Allie pulls every single rare version of the card. I literally, when we've opened this off camera, my luck is It has horrible. not been very good. No, I'll go like 20 packs straight and get nothing but hollow rares. Which, for those who don't know, in Scarlet and Violet, that's new way the of worst doing, you can that's do. That's the worst you can do. Pull rates in this set are supposed to be crazy. I haven't seen it. Um, so here we go. Probably going to be... Oh, no, he is bent all to heck. At least he's not crimped. That's not good. Yeah, but I'd almost... At least crimped is... More. Gives you a little bit of rarity. But he is, um, well, maybe it was more of the package. He's definitely bent. Oh, yeah. You can tell. Definitely bent. But maybe it's something where you, if you set him, you know, sit him under a textbook for a while, he'll uh, straighten out a little bit or something. Wow. Cool card. Yeah, very cool card. That's Hopefully, that's not an omen of what's about to be <laughs> in here. 
All right, so here we are with our scarlet and violet packs. We'll go ahead and lay all of them out here. So there's a little more in these ETBs. I tell you what, we're gonna do something else too. We're gonna bring in the gammas for good luck. Oh, the gammas are gonna cheer us on? Yep, they're gonna be in their packages just to contain their power. Yeah, there's so much power. They'll, they'll be sitting up here. We've got all the gammas there. One, they're, they're right there cheering us on. Two all. ones and a two, so gamma four. <laughs> all right, sure. starting us off, Gyarados pack artwork. Here we go, code cards don't mean a thing. Give you guys a little overview of that. Maybe we can get one of the A. I'd be glad to just get a pull. Me I know too. Allie's looking for, you know, completion of the binder. I'm just looking for hits at this point. Armor Rouge, Hollow, and our energy. So, not sleeving those up just because, again, they're in every pack. They're in every pack. And we now have probably Every hundreds pack. of each card. A lot of bulk from Scarlet and Violet, guys. A lot of bulk. Here we go. Come on, give us something. I'd gladly take one of those awesome Vitality Band, Muck Reverse, and a Coridon Hollow, followed by our Energy. So we, again, off to a slow start. Off to a slow start. Me in this set. I don't know it what it is. It has been a struggle. I don't know because I mean we've opened up like quite a few boosters and booster bundles. Um, Usually she's just sitting there like every three packs probably pulling a hit. I'll go literally like 20 packs straight and not get a single thing like yeah. that. I, I don't I don't understand. It literally seems to be my luck for this set. For whatever reason, it's just been horrible. Ever since I watched Rev do the video where he went out, it's been, this has been an older video, but where he went out to Walmart and opened them in his car. And he opened and, them and didn't get anything and didn't from get the it. Oh, channel. come on, yeah. Ever since I watched that video, I feel like that's been my luck for this set. Yeah, no, I think, I, yeah, it kind of has. We are moving right through. We're halfway with this bad boy. I feel like you need to, you should at least get one thing from this, you know? Yeah, I mean, usually with an ETB, you kind of get at least one card, right? Flow it, Pony, Smollow, Crocolore, Florges, Muck, Cacturn Reverse, Sandile Reverse, Bennett EX. Yay! Probably one of the least hyped EXs that is in Scarlet and That Violet. we have pulled a lot of. We have pulled a that lot of. That Toxicroak. There's a couple like that we've just pulled. Gyarados. Gyarados. The regular yeah. Gyarados. The regular Arcanine. Yeah. Yep. All right. Four more packs. I'm hoping, hoping that one of these, right? Something's got to be, something's got to be. I mean, I, I got Vegeta, right? Yeah, that's right. So my luck is a little bit better, I would think. With that, Zangoose and Didi, there's the code. Wow. Who would have thought Bennett EX from an ETB would be? So far, your top pull. Sad, guys. I'm going to just go straight through these. We'll get the code out at That's the fine. end. That's fine, yep. I think it's a little quicker almost. Torkoal, Breloom, Squovet, thought it might have been some, and a Houndstone. Wow. What a slow day. <laughs> Two more packs. Come on, guys. What I mean, what? Where, where's the gamma energy? Where's the hits? Where is the gamma energy? I need y'all to pose some. I mean, he's giving me. He's saying two hits right here. Yeah. Two hits this way. Yeah. Right, right there. That's right. So maybe they're in these last two packs. I mean, like a full art. Well, I guess they're not technically called full arts anymore. But I mean, something you'd think would have to be showing up pretty soon, right? I would think so. Miriam, spirit. We've even pulled the Miriam. Armor Rouge, Professor's Research. Goodness gracious. Wow. <sighs> I just don't understand with such a set like this that you would end up with literally... With this battle up? Yeah. We got one more pack. Turn it around. All right, here we go. You guys, call it right here. Do you think something is going to be in this, or is it another dud pack for me? Doc Spun, Tatsugiri. Usually, some of your, you know, art rares are here. 
Ooh, rare candy. All right, this is our last time to try to pull something good. Oh my. Wow. What a day. What a day. Again, so no, no hits really from that other than the Bennett EX. And then Maridon to me is cooler than the Bennett. Bennett but yeah. this is like your guaranteed, you know, promo card. But I really didn't get much of anything, did I? Now that I look at it, does, I mean, this I literally got one hollow rare basically mm -hmm. and then an EX. So, okay. Allie's pulls of the day. Everything right there. Full art Cynthia's Ambition. An awesome card. I mean, I didn't get a ton either. It was... Yeah, but I literally got like... I know. Two cards. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it, I mean... The hat didn't help. The gammas didn't help. The gammas didn't help. Maybe I should have brought Vegeta, the Prince of, of all Saiyans, into the opening. Maybe once we get Gohan, we'll have some of that, yeah. that Saiyan energy. The we young Gohizi. <laughs> sure. Well, guys, hope you liked the video. Hope you enjoyed the hunt, as always. Make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel, and we will talk to everyone later. Mm -hmm.